partially hidden Marco models for indoor trajectories. What are indoor trajectories? It is how people move in the shopping mall or how they move in the hypermarket. Our goal is to model such trajectories. Before going into modeling details, let's look at one such trajectory out of the many we have to get a clear understanding of the data we are trying to model. As you can see, we have discretized the hypermarket into grid blocks, which act as states in our model. You can also see a typical trajectory or path taken by the example person in the hypermarket, where the green circle is entrance and the pink circle is the exit. Basically, a person goes around the hypermarket while loading the shopping cart or basket with items needed and finally ends up in the checkout place to pay for the items in the cart. How can we model these trajectories? Well, we can use Marco models where given some history, we can predict the next possible state. In our running example, the problem becomes predicting where the person goes next given he or she was in state or grid blocks shown in green. By extending the Markov models, our solution to this problem also makes use of the trajectory patterns within the grid block. By making use of partial information that roughly describes the pattern within the grid block. Our solution includes modeling the grid states given by S1 till ST and we model the partial information or feature vectors given by F1 till FT. Finally, we also model the latent states using the non-parametric Bayesian prior such that we can model infinitely many latent states. We infer the model parameters using Gibbs sampling. The whole inference process is split into two parts. Inference of latent state sequences given the rest of the parameters and inference of the parameters given the state sequences. Finally, it boils down to the performance. We demonstrated on real trajectory data collected in the hypermarket that the proposed model is suitable for this kind of data and that both good quality auxiliary features and higher order transitions are needed for interpretable summaries that are predictive of future movements. While a regular higher order Marco model provides predictions of comparable accuracy, it does not provide the latent states that describe typical movement patterns in different parts of the space. Thank you.